Hello? Hey, Bill. Hey. Hey, it's Ed Brubaker. Hey, buddy. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is the MySpace interview about criminal. The MySpace interview. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. I, well, one, I'm like a huge fan of the book, as you know. I, I found out about it from, um, I'm going to name drop here, I have from Simon Pegg, uh, star of Shaun of the Dead and Space and other great shows. And I ran into him someplace and introduced and we had a mutual friend and I said what are you reading right now and he said well the only thing I I'm reading criminal and it's like that's that's the book to go get and I said oh you have any other recommendations he's like criminal that's it <laughs> um and then that night I hung out with my friend Evan Goldberg who uh, co-wrote super bad and and he said um so I'm going to go to the comic book store do you recommend anything he's like the only thing I recommend is two books one is called <laughs> Criminal, and the other one is called Sleeper, um, which is another great book that you wrote. So, um, yeah, I remember that flight from L.A. back to New York, I became um, a huge Ed Brubaker fan. But, yeah, where did this, like, story come from? Uh, crime fiction or crime movies, or was it all kind of the above, or where did... Um... Yeah, well, I, I had grown up around like noir movies my my uncle john was a famous screenwriter in the 40s and 50s he wrote uh, crossfire and oh, wow. murder my sweet and the wild one and and i was too young to really realize how cool it was i thought it was really cool that he was working on emergency plus 4 the the cartoon <laughs> of emergency right a lot of criminal came out of sort of my love of like those late 60s, early 70s crime movies like Point Blank or The Prime Cut, a lot of Lee Marvin, writing about the criminals as, as opposed to the good guys who are trying to catch them and, and trying to make that sympathetic. Well, that's what's interesting is you do that very well with, I was about to say, like sympathetic characters that you, you have in the in the series. Um, you know, like my favorite characters in Lawless is, is Ivan, you know. Oh, no, you mean Coward. Coward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know there's two books, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, and Coward, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm such a huge fan of, you know, both those books. Uh, also, I mean, how did, how does Sean Phillips, how does, like, cause his artwork is so, is so specific, yet so very simple and kind of sparse in a way. What, what is it that he brings to the, to your stories? Like, does he bring anything that you, like, you look at and you go, I never in a million years would have thought to do that. And Sean does. Yeah, he, he really does actually. He his his face the the facial expression of his characters it makes everything about what I do work. If if right. it wasn't drawn by him, I don't think people would care. I also like that you guys in the in the single issues you guys have those uh you know the articles in the back. Um, Pat Oswalt wrote one, I think. I was gonna say my, my favorite part of uh, of Lawless is when. Um, when uh, like the crossover that you do, and I love the crossover when uh, Leo is in jail and, and um, Tracy comes in and you know Leo Sam West, am I supposed to know you? You know that whole that scene is great. You know, oh, it's such a uh-huh. cool moment when you know I'm you know I'm Leo, you know Leo's like I've been it's been a long time, Sam, a really really long time. I know, and he's like I know, and this isn't where I expected you to be. You, you know. Six body, oh, six yeah. bodies hanging over you, which is a reference to the coward, which is really cool. Yeah. All right, man. Well, this has been great. Thanks for thanks for doing this with me. It's it's been a blast. Oh man, I'm so yeah. excited that um, I get to interview Ed Brubaker on MySpace. This is really cool. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh, I'm being I'm serious. <laughs>